Hello once again, my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Last episode, we just got into the fifth and final island. Uh, it looks kind of more so like industrial, like it's a huge city, but we're still the only people here. And so now we're just in doing our investigation stuff, so let's just go ahead and get this started. Okay, where did I leave off with talking to people? I think I left off on this tank. Uh... Hello? Can you please plug in? Hey! Hey, Miss Ma'am? Okay, thank you, Miss Ma'am. Sorry, for some reason, like, the controller just doesn't want to work, so now I just gotta wait until- wow. Alright, so what's going on with your week? I'll tell you what's going on with my week. My week is, uh, garbage right now. Someone got into my social security number and opened up an account. <laughs> my glasses snapped, and I had a scare that I wasn't getting my, uh, my new computer. Because all the money went back into my card. So, this week has been fun. Oh! And there she is. She's working. Okay, let's go to Akane. Hi, Akane. Man, this place is boring. <laughs> boring. What are you talking about? There's a tank here. You. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. A real mind fight a real man fights with his fist. <laughs> that goes for a woman too. Right. You wanna battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. But boobies, but big honky monkey Milmer, <laughs> mommy milkers, but titties, honka honka sucka sucka. But boobies, but big honky mommy milkers, but titties, sucka sucka honka honka. That TikTok lives with me till the day that I die. I quote that so much. No thanks. Boob pillows. Okay, and then there's there anything I just missed a helicopter. This is a helicopter that carried off ter 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 uh, This helicopter Yeah, this is the helicopter that lifted up uh, ter ter Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to execute ter ter This helicopter uh, Don't screw with me Bam, what about that bam? Ow um. uh, Hajime, what happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. Yeah, what happened? Did you just, like, ban bonk your head on the helicopter? I couldn't help but punching it. Oh, you punched it. But it just ended up hurting my fist. Damn it. I'm so weak. And I think that's it for this. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Alright, so let's go. Also, around, like, the halfway point... Ooh, excuse me. Around, like, the halfway point, there might be a random cut because... Oh jeez, I gotta go feed my cat. Seeking Industries. What is this? Whoa, okay. Is this for- Oh, I see you. I see you, you little fucking bitch. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. Seeking Industries. Huh? Huh? The company that specializes in manufacturing electrical installation and other ma uh, and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only a hundred employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh, I guess so. I only read about them in the pamphlet next to the reception desk. Uh, besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? The co this company obviously doesn't make machine pots, so what the heck are they making here? Yeah, he's right. It's like, they're making something more dangerous. Isn't that a mono beast? It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. Uh, but bitch, I see you. Don't you hide in the corner right there. Huh? Are you serious? I am very serious. Yaho. Okay. So, obviously the machine, that looks like a mono beast. This, this machine is making another machine? Yes, Hachime, that's what machines do. The finished product looks like it's modeled after the four-legged animal. 
Hey, hey. Hey, doesn't that animal looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the mono beasts? Maybe. Is there any chance that those mono beasts were created here? The mono beasts were created here? Fine, fine. Yep, yeah, that's what the place is for! Hi, Monokuma, you fucking bitch. What's up? What's good? What's tea? Hey, hey. No matter how much you sit in the game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? Bye bye! No, that's why it's just fine. There's something wrong uh, with you. Well, what the hell did he mean by that? Uh, he wasn't making any sense at all. <laughs> It doesn't matter who convinced, because I'll never be convinced! What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does that mean that Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? I mean, knowing Junko, it's not that surprising. But who is controlling it? Because Junko's dead. Damn it, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, I'll give you another talk, Kazuichi. <laughs> uh, hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Oh, why? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, well, obviously. What am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey. Oh, well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Oh, look at you go, Kazuichi. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Let's go. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story. So what was written in the email anyway? Well, it started with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, that's not realistic at all. But it probably did happen. Yeah. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more, more dis, uh, dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Mm. The footage of the riots started getting circulated and strange incidents started occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads through the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something that a lame high school band would think as a song title. Hey. Uh, whoever wrote this song, whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story ideas because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on, a st on that scale is totally impossible. I'll never believe it for a second. But I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that. Are you sure it's okay to say that it's just a made-up story? <laughs> uh, of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... Of course not. Uh, there's no way that this is real! It's more important than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. Alright, Death Note, I see you. Motherfucking light Yagami. <laughs> I see you. Uh, you're right. It's just... A lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. I was expecting a little... Could it? What about this machine? Ooh, hello. Hello, Cyborg S, Miss Ma'am. How you doing? This automated machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? Maybe. Uh, it's a humanoid machine. I is that a robot? You serious? Uh, seriously? How could they be making robots? <gasps> uh, hey! Just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nikumaru was made here? That was gross. Uh, it's a similar humanoid robot. It's it's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, but why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too? Uh... I mean, it's always a possibility. I don't think so, but maybe it's a possibility? <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Seeking Industries, but it's not anymore. I see. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over the place and modified it without permission. He'd all all this just to shock us. That's the reason? That's 
That's not so weird. This whole thing has been doing similar stuff to us. But why? Uh, maybe uh, there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. Uh, they're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off and watching kids kill each other. I mean, this could honestly just be a case of Battle Royale. By the way, if you have not watched Battle Royale, you need to change that. I know it's no longer on Netflix, but you need to change that right now. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, I mean if that's true, then our fate's in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. It sounds like something that would happen in work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality? It's definitely unsettling. Alright, well, I'm done here, so let's go. Oh, hi, Fuyuhiko. Hey, Ajime. I was looking for you. What, what's up, Fuyuhiko? What's good? Who died? What's up, Fuyuhiko? Well, I was thinking you probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right. I think I've explored, like, everywhere at least once for now. Damn right! Then do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, Fuyuhiko left the area. I love that boy so much. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over to the street with the food stands. Alright, let's go! Let's go, Miss Dorling Sweetheart! Ah, uh, fucking Monokuma the bitch. Alright, here we go. Let's go! Let's go! Speaking of food, I should take a little bite of my food right now. It's seafood fettuccine. Oh, woo! Woo! Come on, give me that nice, voluptuous bite. Mm. We love a little bit of a mukbang time. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Huh? Huh? But what about Nagito? Who cares? It's not like he's a friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now then. So, how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm. Uh, not really. Like, nah, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which- Oh, Jesus Christ! Alright, let's plug that in. There we go. I didn't realize that my laptop wasn't plugged in. Oops! It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However... However, I believe there is no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Well... Are we sure about that? Huh? Huh? But what are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they trap us on this island! Well, yeah. Uh, that's true, but... There's something I've been thinking about. Hey! Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it to, by this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monami has been opposing him. <gasps> you mean, pretending to oppose them, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. <laughs> then, it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait. Even if they both oppose one another, it is not possible that they are both our enemy. Like a three-way battle? That's kind of hot. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, darling, sweetheart. Yes! I want to be part of a three-way battle. Okay, fucking punch my lights out. Hey. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa! Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Damn it. D don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be uh, no way! You're clearly suspicious! You're sus, my dude! I mean, if you don't... Shut down! Kazuichi Soda, shut up! Yes, Sonya. Put him in line, bitch! <laughs> yes! Listen! There never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh, my. Uh, lied? It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other. How could you not believe in your friends after everything that we have endured together? 
Uh, that obviously has to be Na uh, Nagito. Weak. How weak. Yep. Man. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such that weakness is hopeless. Nagito? Fucking Nagito, the fucking bitch. What's up? Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder what your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just kept running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> Oops. If I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by the weakling who dropped out? That is... Uh, what does that... Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well... Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought the person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding... Oh, Jesus Christ, I need to shut up. Oh my God. Or maybe that person is hiding at a secret location and carefully watching us. You... Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Huh? huh? Wait, what? What's good? What's good, Nagito? Because there was seven survivors in the killing school life. How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Byakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? He's dead. What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. <sighs> what stage? You're not making sense at all! She's not making sense! Yeah, straight up. Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Byakuya, survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right? Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order. The issue is not what he means. Please take back what you said about Byakuya dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia! Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito that we have been witness to. A bitch, I haven't liked Nagito at all. I can't wait for the fucker to die. I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. Ah, uh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But... Why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually... To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who- Shions? Shions? To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs me my life. What? You're gonna weed out the traitor. As I've already said, there is no traitor. Ha ha ha. I'll bet in the end you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we've found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I? This is exciting! Will I become the ultimate hope? Bitch, you are not Makoto Naegi, okay? You wish that you were Makoto Naegi, but you were just a psychopathic fucker who I don't like. Okay, bitch, bye. Ultimate hope? What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then. Now then, I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Nagito? What does that mean? Bye now. Bye. Oh, great. Nagito's gonna freaking murder. Jesus Christ. Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We are powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to talk about it, but could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding? A uh, kill? Who? Who's he gonna kill? Bitch, I don't know. Do you think that I can get into Nagito's smart little dumb brain no not at all damn it based on how he's talking he looks like his target is the traitor 
There is no such person. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along. I will never, ever believe that. Like Sunya said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it is Nagito? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? That's right. Don't we gotta tie him up again? Forcing him to stop is the only way! Oh. It's impossible. Nekimura's not even here anymore. I'll show you my <laughs> I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. I'm here too. Aw, precious. Huh? Then, that's a yes, right? Uh, just leave it to me. Uh, once I come up with the plan, uh, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi is right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to ask fat we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. And that's probably just gonna be like the end of the day, right? For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration on the final island and return to the hotel. It was already dark by the time that we returned to the hotel. We spent the whole entire day at the at the island, yes. Alright, well, I guess... Hey, 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 down, down, down. I'm recording. Um, I'm guessing I just gotta go to my cottage. Where's my cottage? My cottage is right here. Might as well go to sleep. Unless there was something else that I was supposed to do, but I don't think so. Oh, hey! I almost got all the ones from, from Island 5. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although, I'm not really certain if you can even call these clues. Instead, I just feel like we're suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. Uh, I mean, Hajime, you are quite the pessimist. But I mean, you come through, you come in clutch. I should just get some sleep for today, rest my mind for a while, and then I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. All right, I have like a little bit of time left. Hi, Monokuma, what's good? Yes. Words are extremely dangerous. Unlike leathers, words cannot be undone with erasers or with a backspace. Uh, that's why you need to be extremely careful. Uh, same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. Uh, that's right, where I was being trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir, D uh, Sir Dietrich, <laughs> and the other was a fox named Cha-Cha Jr. To be honest, Cha-Cha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tries to have a serious talk with him, he just stare at her boobs the whole time. Wow, Cha-Cha Jr., you fucking nasty, you salute. That's why Sir Dietrich would, would order him to stop panties. To steal panties. And that idiot would get really happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undies. Also, this one time, uh, the three of us went into a steakhouse, and the waiter asked, How would you like it cooked? Cha-Cha Jr. Probably said with, proudly said with fire. Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Cha-Cha Jr. He made Cha-Cha Jr. abduct a fawn and drown it. Wow. Alright, drown the fawn, I guess. Goddamn. Then he saved that drowning fawn himself. And he made Cha-Cha Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were having a fun life in the Sapari Park. That's right. Until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Cha-Cha Jr. Foxes are squirrels, natural enemies. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of Dietrich's sir, who's, uh, Dietrich Sr. He had been eaten. I'm only assuming that's just Sir Dietrich. Good thing I immediately tattled to the whale employee so he could put down Cha-Cha Jr. with a hunting rifle. Uh, even now, I regret saying what I said back then. What the hell? Jeez, squirrels have it rough. Ugh, they have so many natural enemies. That is very true. I can eat you my bears. Ding dong, bing dong, bitch. Hi. 
What's up? What's good? What's good? Just regular? I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to make up. For now, I should just head over to the restaurant. I probably have some time to get to the restaurant. Let's go. Let's go, Miss Ma'am. Let's go. Alright. Who's waiting outside for me to talk to? Wow, nobody's waiting outside for me to talk to. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, no, nobody's waiting outside. Alright, let's go. Let's go see who's indoors. Hello, Miss... Oh, hello, Chiaki, Miss Darling, Sweetheart. How you doing? Oh, she's asleep. Hey, Chiaki. Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki! I wasn't sleeping. Yes, you were! <sighs> totally not sleeping. I was playing a game. You were sleeping while you were playing a game. There's always time for gaming. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you look more tired than usual. Um, Last night, I had a weird dream that woke me up in the middle of the night, so maybe that's why. A weird dream? Well... It was a Monokuma puzzle game. It was like one of those tile-falling games where you make falling Monokumas disappear by creating a chain. Mm. But no matter how much I play it, play it, I just couldn't beat it. And then Monokuma just fell endlessly. Why did I have a dream like that? It's probably because we saw that factory where those Monokuma goods are made. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. That might be what might be why it is. Alright, let's go stairs. Hello, how we doing? What's going on, Miss Ma'am, Miss Darling, Miss Sweet Wards? <laughs> Yo, Hajime! Check it out! I've already eaten! I'm not surprised. As usual, you're eating a lot. Just as I thought. Trash. Well, we might get locked in the place like a funhouse again. So I gotta eat while I can! Eat well! Shit well! Thank you, Nekamaru. For now. Okay, now that we've finished our breakfast, let's uh, jump right into the main topic. Oh. Hey, I'm still eating here! <laughs> I just got here. I haven't had the chance to eat anything yet. It's okay, I'm pretty much done eating. You selfish little- you know, right? And of course, the main topic is about... A plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be. Uh, are you really going to do it? Of course. I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> that means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my efforts should count for something? Jesus Christ. Hey, bastard. We get it. Hurry up and spill the plan of yours already. Hmm. Well, I thought of several plans, but in the end, I figured that straightforward plan would be the best. Uh. Uh, one of us will be the decor who lures Nek uh, Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to take uh, attack to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. All right. So that's the plan! What do you think? That's... There's no plan. Oh, it's easy to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? Oh my god, Akane. Uh, so now, I will present each of you with your role. Of course! Since it's my plan, I will take the role of commander. I won't let anyone. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey, hey. But commander sounds like the most fun. Hey. Hey, didn't I just said I won't let anyone object? Right. Next, I'll present the two task force members. The big roles go to you, Fuyuhiko, and Akane. Oh, no. Yep, sure thing. Oh my God, Akane's not even paying attention. Jeez, you're <laughs> pathetic. Got no choice. You know, right? And the person brought in with the core of this plan, the decoy who has to lure Nagito. I'll give that role to... Shiaki Nanami! No way. Huh? No way. Ah! Uh, what did you say? So... I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey, hey! Uh, it's gonna be fine. It's not like you're tying him up. You just gotta lure him. Well... Uh, besides, there's no way I'd ask Miss Sonya to take such a dangerous role, you know? So, so please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey! What a rude way to ask for help. If my hero was here, she would have beaten you up. No. I mean, you, know, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> uh, isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey. And don't, didn't, uh, didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at all of a sudden? Jesus Christ, calm down, Kazuichi. Oh. Fine. All right. You gotta do it? All right, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonya and I haven't got been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonya has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. 
And you're on shore duty. I want you to go supply the rope that we need to tie up Nagito. Denied! Oh. Love that, Sonia. What about it? Whoa. Oh, wh why? Listen. If Hajime has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. No, no, like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not. That is not a request, this is an order. That is an order! An order, I tell you, there is somewhere I must go. Uh, 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 fine. If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. I'll leave that matter Good, your repeat that. If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. You <laughs> object so forcefully. Where do you need to go, Sonia? I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What oh, Sonia! Sonia! You're gonna be alone with Hajime at a secret place? <laughs> For now. Damn it. We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? If our commander is gonna be okay, his energy seems to have prop dropped pretty drastically. Let's all disperse for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes? E yeah, sure thing. Oh shit, okay. Oh damn. Uh, after our plan planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to my cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. God damn, Sonia, never mind. <laughs> Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the episode right there. Thank you all so much for watching! My name's Veed, I hope they had a wonderful time watching this. I hope they had a wonderful time watching me find out that Nagito is planning to kill someone and Sonia wants to see me alone. <laughs> Make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe button down below and help a YouTuber out. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss up on any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!